Assassin's Creed, a series of highs and lows. As a fan of this series, I'm not as critical of the game as other people. Hell, I even quite enjoy Unity despite its at times hilarious glitches. But I do have a problem with one thing. The hate on Assassin's Creed 3. This game seems to be the most hated out of the franchise and for the most ridiculous reasons I have ever heard. For the past four games, they've all been running on the same engine, so when AC3 came along, it was a nice refreshing take on the franchise. Now, I'll admit things like the fighting were a bit watered down with glitches and other things, but why would anyone want the same game for the fifth time? Give Ubisoft a little credit for offering a new take on an annual franchise unlike other annual franchises. At this point, there are damn near 11 games, and out of all of them, the majority are pretty much the most cliched arc in all of the game, the revenge story. Now, Assassin's Creed specializes in this, and it's almost a safe go backup story for when they can't agree anything creative, but for some reason, when it comes to three people giving an extra hard time, I'll admit the fact that when Connor realized who was really at fault for killing his mother, but didn't take the appropriate action that led him to become an assassin in the first place, was a bit frustrating to get around, but are we really going to act like the hate them because this is one of the most memorable in the franchise? The fact that even though we go after the Templars in their final words, they reveal they tried to actually do some good, and that makes us question our own morals as an assassin, or the fact that when we do everything we're supposed to do as Connor and Desmond, in the end we still lose? If anything, the story in AC3 has to be the most complex and player-grabbing story in the franchise, period. It's meant to make you feel like you are Connor in his tragic life. Being an assassin, everything doesn't go as planned. It's even foretold in the game that life is not a fairy tale and there are no happy endings. Okay, now this is the most stupidest excuse I've ever heard about Connor. Connor is born. The whole idea of 3 is progress. There would be no point in making a Connor just like Ezio. If that was the case, they would have just made another game with Ezio. The AC community at the time was afraid of change. They had become accustomed to Ezio. And when, you know, you finally get a new character in the series, you kind of like, you know, like, what, like what's going on? So pretty much part of the reason why Edward Kenway is popular among the community is because he was outside of reaction to Connor. And ever since then, they tried to return to the charismatic character trope, which is beyond overplayed people. I mean, come on, the gaming industry has plenty of charismatic people. Like, you got, like, Nathan Drake, Delson Rowe, Johnny Gadden, Crash Bandicoot, like, we, like, if you really want a charismatic character, just go play one of those games. But, you know, chances are, when you get older, you're not exactly just going to forget shit like that ever happened. You know, when, when like, you see your parents die in front of you, and know you can't do anything about it. Connor acts the way he does because he feels the need to be. He doesn't want anything like that to happen again or alone to anybody else. He is trying to do what's right on a consistent basis, not trying to get sidetracked or have side conversations with other characters. He's basically not mixing his emotions with his duty. And not to mention, he's one of the last assassins in America after Brotherhood had previously fallen. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to be just all carefree and going around like how Ezio does, because there are plenty of other assassins who could have, you know, replaced Ezio. But if you still feel he's bland, I highly suggest you go back and replay the game. Khan is progressing every sequence, and we are literally growing with him along his journey. Now, Assassin's Creed 3 is one is the one that got me into the franchise. If you were on YouTube gaming in 2012, practically all you saw was Assassin's Creed 3. Literally every channel, every website had this game support. But as I grew older, I've come to expect this with almost every game. That the hype builds up, and then a couple months to a year later, it will get hella backlash. So as a community, we hold responsibility. We can't get hyped up and crazy like this is the best thing since sliced bread, then go back and say it was worse than the PSN hack in 2011. Come on, game. Overall, Assassin's Creed 3, much like Unity, tried to further the game with new mechanics and tried to enhance the story with new characters. Now, I'm not saying Ezio isn't the best assassin, I'm not saying any of the new ones are either, but we've got to stop comparing every new assassin to Ezio. Connor's a great character, his game is great, Assassin's Creed 3 is without a doubt one of the greatest games in the franchise, and if you disagree, I highly suggest you sit back and replay it from, the, from start to finish from a new point of view and not writing off the coattails of Ezio's legacy. My father left those for me. Mother, father, I am sorry. I have failed you both. I made a promise to protect our people. I thought, 
I thought if I could stop the Templars, if I could keep the revolution free from their influence, that those I supported would do what was right. They did, I suppose, do what was right. What was right for them. As for you, Father, I thought I might unite us, that we would forget the past and forge a better future. In time, I believed you could be made to see the world as I did, to understand. But it was just a dream. This, too, I should have known. Were we not meant to live in peace, then? Is that it? Are we born to argue? To fight? So many voices, each demanding something else. It has been hard at times, but never harder than today. To see all I worked for, perverted, discarded, forgotten. You would say I have described the whole of history, Father. Are you smiling then? Hoping I might speak the words you long to hear. To validate you. To say that all along you were right. I will not. Even now, faced as I am with the truth of your cold words, I refuse. Because I believe things can still change. I may never succeed. The assassins may struggle another thousand years in vain. But we will not stop. Compromise. That is what everyone has insisted upon. And so I have learned it. But differently than most, I think. I realize now that it will take time. That the road ahead is long and shrouded in darkness. It is a road that will not always take me where I wish to go. And I doubt I will live to see its end. But I will travel down it nonetheless. For at my side walks hope. In the face of all that insists, I turn back. I carry on. This... This is my compromise. <laughs>